Jojo Noom and the Shape Map by Joe Hall. It was raining and Jojo Noom was at home looking miserable. What's wrong, Jojo? asked his grandpa. Jojo explained that in school, his class had been learning about different shapes. Everyone in the class had to bring in an object or something to do with a shape to share. Colin the caterpillar had brought in some fruit and eaten a hole shaped like a circle right through all of the different kinds of fruit. He'd made funny noises as he munched. (coughs) Ella, who was great at maths and football, had shown them a picture of a football pitch. The class had spotted lots of rectangles in the picture. (coughs) Fatima Fairy had used her magic wand to make a pyramid shaped like a triangle. When she swirled her wand in the air, the top of the pyramid opened and lots of little triangles popped out and flew around the room. (coughs) It's my turn tomorrow and I don't know what shape to pick or what to do, said Jojo. Do you have to pick just one shape? asked his grandpa. Jojo shrugged. He'd enough trouble just thinking about one shape, never mind more than one. Right, I'm going for a walk and I think you should come with me, said Grandpa Gnome. I do all my best thinking outside. So they both set off for a walk past lots of birds tweeting in a tree. What's that over there? asked Grandpa. You mean the circle-shaped thing behind that tree? said Jojo. His grandpa nodded. That's the wheel that fell off Colin's bike last week? said Jojo. He'd a puncture and it made a really funny sound when it happened. (laughs) Jojo made the sound to let Grandpa Gnome hear and they both laughed. As they walked a bit further, Jojo heard barking in the distance. That's LG's house, said Jojo. And that's his dog Hats at the window barking. I bet he's happy to see us. Look at the windows, said Grandpa. They're all triangles. I like that, and they've got a chimney that's a triangle too, said Jojo. Grandpa laughed. We're seeing lots of shapes in this walk, aren't we? Splish, splash, splosh. Next they found round puddles to splash through. They walked past a wall with bricks shaped like rectangles in different colours. Jojo counted the yellow bricks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There were nine yellow bricks in the wall. They passed an oval-shaped duck pond with quacking ducks in it. When they got back to the house, Auntie Molly was sewing. She was making a quilt from lots of bits of material. Jojo held up one of the shapes. What's this? he asked. That's a hexagon, replied Auntie Molly. A hexagon has six sides. They fit together on my quilt like this. And she showed him her quilt. The hexagons made a nice pattern. Suddenly, Jojo had an idea. I know the sheep thing I can take into school tomorrow, said Jojo to his grandpa. You know all the places we saw today with different shapes? Well, I'm going to draw a map so everyone could go for a walk and see all the shapes for themselves, said the little gnome. So he drew his shape map. Jojo arrived at school the next day, just as the school bell rang. Later that morning, Jojo showed the class his shape map. All of the shapes were the places he'd seen in his walk with Grandpa. If his classmates followed the map and stopped where the shapes were, they would see the same things he had. The circles. The triangles. The rectangles. The oval 
and the hexagons. The other pupils loved Jojo's shape map and wanted to make one themselves. So the whole class gave him a huge round of applause. Yeah! 